Out right here. Well, Gang, come on around. Guitar case and uh, and a pro. Is that the program from the uh, All Star softball game there? That's yes, exactly. but indeed. Uh, you're spoiling my surprise. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've got some videotape too, so let's just let you talk about the whole situation. Well, though. before before we get to the videotape, what I mean, this is just a little short thing that I wanted to bring out here and show to the uh, to the fans. I talked for a couple of weeks about the fact that I was invited to uh, be involved in a celebrity softball match up in uh, softball game up in Nashville, Tennessee. And it involved just, I mean, all of the, not only all the big names in uh, country music, but there were some ex-baseball stars there. I forgot, gosh, I got to go back. While this video is going, I want to go back and get my, because I got some great autographs. I got a, a, a Cleveland Indians tank top that, that I got Gaylord Perry to autograph. And, and just, I mean, it was really exciting for me. But uh, the, the most exciting thing was not necessarily the game, but it was actually meeting all of these, these uh, stars and stuff. But 10, 000, over 10,000 people uh, came out to Greer Stadium in Nashville. And, uh, and that was at 10 bucks a head. It raised over $100,000 for the City of Hope, which is an AIDS and cancer research center out in Los Angeles. And it was just a great event. And then after the softball game, they had a little concert. And I brought along just a little bit of video to show you kind of palling around with all the uh, stars there. <laughs> it, was, it was really exciting. And then a little, little, little bit of them singing. And, and so just watch this real quick, and I'll tell you who all everybody is. All right. Okay, that's like a team photo there. Look, there's George Jones, see him down there. And, um, got, well, I'll introduce him as we go along here. But there I am. Hey, get the old thumbs right up there. there. Here comes a little introduction here. Nice hand for the game. A little nice hand there. You know, I brought along the, uh, brought along the belt there. <laughs> Put the belt stake in the, in the game. It's a good thing I didn't, though, because uh, my team didn't exactly win, uh, as you're going to see here in a minute. Um, but anyway, uh, Garth Brooks, Garth Brooks. Hey. superstar, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's bragging. They beat the king. His, his, his team did win. Anyway, I don't see too many girls. Look, there's George. George Jones, old possum there. Now here coming up here is one of my all-time heroes. Guy used to play for the uh, Cleveland Indians up there. He used to go see the guy. Uh, Gaylord Perry. There he is. Uh, hero there, okay, and just uh, you know, they're all those. See, there's the guy. What's his name? National Network. Charlie yeah, Chase. Charlie Chase, huh? Charlie Chase is there. Uh, Reba McIntyre, a little bit. You'll see, she's sang the national anthem. Did real good. That's Paulette Carlson from Highway 101. Look, Phil Necro, greatest knuckleball pitcher of all time. Let's see, who else we got here? One guy. Uh, look, this guy thought I was going to body slam him. That's Clint Black. <laughs> and uh, he, somebody, a lot of these guys were, were real, good, real good ball players. And uh, we had the game, uh, Reba singing the national anthem. For some reason, Garth Brooks just kind of hugged on me all night. I don't know what the deal was, but anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, all, all of these stars were there, and then after the uh, ball game, they put on a little bit of concert. And here's just a second or two of some of the people here singing this. Travis Tritt has one of the biggest hits in the country going right now. Oh, well, that's the quarter, quarter somewhere. He's got another call always now. Yeah, that's uh, Trisha Yearwood was there. She's, uh, she's the first person to ever have her first song that they ever released go to number one. And uh, that was she's a loving boy. That was a really good gift. Then this next guy was a real, I mean, this next guy was just not even advertised to be there. He just had, showed up and uh, did a really great job. And I was really excited to see him because he was one of my all-time heroes. Remember from the Eagles, Glenn Fry? Indeed, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did a real good job. Everybody, I mean, these, it, what was so neat about it, these guys all, they sang their songs and it was just like, I mean, they just walked onto the back of a flatbed truck out there at second base and they sounded great. Garth Brooks, friends in low places. Yes, indeed. Last one, no. The last one is sure I was the last one you thought you'd see there. So surprised. And the fear in his eyes when I took his glass of champagne. When I toasted you and said, honey, we may be thrilled, but you'll never hear me complain. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 It was really great. Anyway, that okay, that's enough. But That's but terrific. Thank was, you for bringing that. Thank you. Now, what, what was exciting about that was it, it, it really brought something to mind. You know, I have I have probably in my career signed 
you know, 10,000 autographs myself, and, and, and you don't really, you know, you, you get to where it just sort of is a second nature thing to sign the autograph, and you don't really think about the significance of it or anything. Sometimes it even gets annoying if you're, maybe you're sitting down at dinner or somebody, somebody comes over and asks for an autograph, but uh, it, really, it really made me think, when I, it really made me stop and realize how important these are, because there all of a sudden at that game, I was the big fan, and I was walking around and seeing, you know, George Jones and Conway Twitty and Garth Brooks and all these guys, and I was walking around getting autographs, and, and you know, it was, it was really a lot of fun. And I, I, did, I did two things, and I want to show you this very special, you know, uh, there have been a lot of guitars around, running around wrestling lately, but this is a very special one that I want to show everybody here. Ooh, I just, wow. Uh, yeah, I'll show you in just a second. But anyway, I got, I got uh, you know, I've won a lot of titles and trophies and things over the year, but the, I don't really display them at my house. I got two, I got, I got one thing, really, actually, that I really display at my home, one main trophy and it's when they retired the old southern heavyweight championship and i've got oh, that yeah. up on my mantle mm -hmm. it's like uh you know because it reminds me of my whole career I was, every time i look at it i think of sam bass and jim white and guys like the sheik and dick the bruiser and all these guys that i've beaten and you know it really means a lot to me and and because like sam and jim those guys were heroes to me well they so are the so are these guys that i met up there and i just want to show you this i took this around and got this signed and this is just you know, just take Boy, a look at some. That's terrific. It, it really is neat. Uh, so look at this, Jerry. God bless you, Garth Brooks. Here, look to the King. No Show. George, George Jones. Jones. Uh, Travis Tritt. Uh, Trisha Yearwood. Mark Chestnut. Conway Twitty. Uh, and Conway Twitty did a great thing for me too. There, he made a phone call to a friend of mine down here in Memphis, uh, 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 Faye Peel, and uh, just uh, who is under a little bit under the weather. And I took my phone. He called her. Anyway, all of these people, Reba McIntyre, uh, Clint Black, they all signed this, and it's really, you know, this is going to be like a, a real treasure to me, and I'm going to keep this at my house. But I didn't forget, while I was there, I didn't forget the wrestling fans either, because what this whole thing was to do was to raise money, as it for the City of Hope, and uh, they, they auctioned off a lot of this stuff. And these, these programs that were signed, they took the programs around, they had all of us sign these programs. As you can see, Phil Necro, Gaylord Perry, there's Tom Pridemore uh, of the Atlanta Falcons, George Jones. Hey, who's that guy? Oh, the King. The King, okay, yeah. Uh, Reba McIntyre. Anyway, we all signed a bunch of these programs, and they were auctioning these programs off for like $200. They went for up to $200 each. Anyway, I got one that's signed by everybody. Garth Brooks, Clint Black, uh, T. Graham Brown, all of these people. And what we're going to do this week at the matches, we're going to have a little drawing, and we're gonna give, I'm going to give this program away to somebody down there this week. And, Excellent. And they'll have every, all about uh, 30, or 30 or so stars autographs and there's something they can keep them. but yeah. now okay we got that away and i want to talk real quickly about about dream matches before i go up into the ring here they're talking about eric Embry says something about his dream match would be a match with me well let me tell you something eric Embry. every time i close my eyes and if a picture of you comes in my head it's not a dream it's a nightmare so you having a match with me with my belt at stake and nothing at stake for you that does me absolutely no good at all, so that is not my dream match. I'll tell you what I want to do in order right now. The match that I would love to have right off the bat, so if anybody's calling, I'd appreciate this, is this little low-life punk that you saw on the video, Billy Travis, who has been out here more than once busting guitars over my head. He did it last week. He called, let Eric Embry get a win over me on television by hitting me over the head with a guitar. Then last Monday night at Memphis, Tennessee, I had a chance to unify the titles against Eddie Gilbert and what happens out comes Billy Travis again busts another guitar so everybody that's out there making these phone calls right now if I can plead with you if I can beg you my dream match would be that little runt Billy Travis I'd like to get his name on the line and have a match with Billy Travis take care of him then Eric Emery will come after that so I'm asking for a favor out there all right all right